Let's face it, we love sporty cars. We love sports sedans, sport coupes, and naturally sports cars. No doubt that's behind our affection for the 2001 Toyota MR2 Spider. A neater package of slick styling, point-and-shoot handling, and open-air motoring doesn't exist. No, it's not the perfect car. The sports and sports car means that not everyone will fall in love with its low-slung seating, pavement-following ride, and especially with the Spider, lack of cargo space to carry anything larger than a briefcase. But then the MR2 is some 20 inches shorter than our Porsche Boxster S long-termer, and at less than half the price, a much closer match on driving fun. Make that pretty frugal driving fun. After 6,000 miles in five months, we've managed a very respectable 28.3 miles per gallon. We've had only one mechanical fault, a broken fuel door release. Our log books provide a balance of comments on driving praise and suggestions for improvements. For instance, the slot car-like handling would be even more appreciated if the metal look foot pedals weren't so incompatible with wet shoes. And while the large controls fall easily to hand, you have to keep your coffee cup in your hand rather than in the cup holder so as not to block their access. But then if you want to drink coffee, maybe you should stop at Starbucks, since the MR2 is a keep two hands on the wheel driving machine that raises your spirits while just as quickly erasing your stress. Now you may think a Spider and a sedan could not be more different in character. Not so this sedan. This 2001 Volvo S60 2.4T is more sport luxury sedan than we've ever expected from this conservative Swedish brand. Mileage is fine at this point, 22.5, with far better throttle response from our car's 197 horsepower 2.4 Turbo 5 than most competitors with larger six-cylinder engines. Indeed, after only a couple of months and 2,400 miles, we have only one complaint. Our car came fitted with super sticky winter tires that are wonderful in snow, but they make the S60 behave strangely on dry pavement. Turn the wheel and it's almost like the car first reacts in slow motion and then darts to the proper direction. Now that it's spring, we'll be switching back to the standard tires, which are totally predictable and perfect for the S60 sport sedan duties. Soon, this 2001 Dodge Grand Caravan ES all-wheel drive and this 2000 Ford Focus ZTS will be up for duty on our next MotorWeek long-term road test update.